If something darker really is happening around Lady Bird Lake, then why haven't police solved these cases? The truth is, there are a number of real-world investigative barriers that make these cases incredibly difficult to solve. One of the biggest challenges, forensic limitations. And in drowning cases, it's most often ruled an accident, unless there's clear evidence of foul play or intentional harm. Many of these cases are defaulted to accidental drownings, even if something more sinister did happen. Which brings us to the next challenge investigators face, how water destroys evidence. Water is a uniquely destructive force when it comes to that. Unlike a land crime scene, where time, temperature and insects affect decomposition differently, water erases clues fast and efficiently. In water, those variables are reduced and the process is more uniform. This makes it very predictable in estimating the time a body went into the water. But it also means that forensic clues to what happened disappear in a more systematic way, especially after 24 to 48 hours. And unless a body is recovered almost immediately, even skilled forensic teams are left with almost nothing to work with. Inconclusive findings do not mean a crime didn't occur. It often means that evidence was simply not there anymore.